Long time no see, huh? Yes. Three years. Something. Oh no, we no. met in uh, Norway a few times, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just say hello and Hadanga open. I think. Hadanga open. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, this is a big comeback. I'm, I'm, I was waiting for you to come back in 2020. It was the plan, right? Then match yeah, with Matt Mask and. Yeah. Uh, no, it was last year, I think. Last year. Yeah. Against Matt Mask, but yeah. my arm didn't hold up. No. No. Too long. I get this time I don't get so short notice that I couldn't do anything. Yeah. I just have to. But pain or just feel good? How do yeah, you feel? Yeah, no, it feels good. Feels yeah. good. Yeah. Last year I gained weight and starting to lift heavier and getting stronger. We get COVID and some aches and pain. It just get worse and worse. And uh, last last month I couldn't even I couldn't beat anybody. So it will be ridiculous and mm-hmm. growing for both me and Matt and everybody. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, so you're like, no. Yeah, no. it was hopeless. No, uh, yeah. I don't know where I stand now, but it feels, feels good. So The funny thing is just, uh, Lars just came back from gym. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it is Thursday, right? But you're like, this, this stupid match is not taking away from me doing <laughs> some squats, definitely. Yeah, I go easy, you know. I go very easy just to keep me going because I train twice every day so if i stop i don't know, I know. what will happen <laughs> I, I i think i have told this story before but we were in the viking arm and it's like 1 a.m i'm drinking you are having a good time we're arbusting and you just walk up to us you have your your shoes in your you're like anyone wants to go to gym you have big <laughs> headphones and even devon was like devon was like what's going on here? <laughs> and then in the morning you had to take me to the to the train station and uh, I write to you, I'm like, are you up? Yeah, I've been gym for like an hour and a half already. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. um, pretty crazy that way. It's, yeah. but it's a lifestyle. It is I, a I lifestyle. It. I but, feel like it but is. But the problem is when you're going to compete or like before when you compete a lot in strength sports, you, you can't do that. You have to sleep more. You have to Yeah, you have to, recover. You have to peak and recover. Yeah. No, I yeah. just train for fun to be an all-run athlete yeah. and not just for fun. I take it. Seriously, I want to be how strong can I be when at the same time be lean and mm. good endurance and everything. So that's you were much bigger, right? Yeah, yeah. I was at my biggest. I was 131, 132. Yeah. And now, I think I'm. I was down to 102. It was the lightest weight in over 20 years. But when I got it this match, I started to eat a little bit more. But I would I wouldn't start to do anything crazy. Do a lot of carbs or something because. Last time I tried that, I got stiff, and mm. um, so I have tried to get Slowly. more, yeah, Slowly. sleep more. Yeah. I was in the Alps climbing, and I better try to stay on the 4,000 meters peaks to <laughs> recover better. And um, yeah, yeah I did. you live a very active lifestyle. Like yeah. you really live it. Like I see from Instagram, and it's not just Instagram. I know, right? So uh, yeah. everyone has told me crazy stories, though. Yeah. What did you say? Like everyone, everyone, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everyone in Norway knows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, I competed for so many years, and when I competed, I slept, slept, ate, slept, ate, go to the gym, and it was so many things I wanted to do. I wanted to climb. I wanted yeah. to do some fighting. I wanted to do bicycle race. Everything, but I couldn't. I couldn't. was, yeah. yeah. I wanted to be as good as possible. So when yeah. I quit in. 2016, 17, then I changed totally and did everything. I climbed mm. the highest peak in Western Europe, Mont Blanc, and I did a Everest challenge in bike. Wow. You, do, you, you go uphill the same he- height as Mount Everest in one, one day, no sleep. Just, you find a very st- steep hill and go up and down, up and down till you have uh, 9,000 meters. So I think I was the first uh, guy first one with my weight to do that yeah. so that was it was just a personal how challenge how hard was it it was hard. how wrecked were you next day uh, it was it was hard but you you, you don't go fast you go but yeah, yeah, yeah. but you can't get too slow because then it got like 30 40 hours and then you started to fall asleep so you have to have a little mm-hmm. tempo but it was okay but i started to get well, sick and the worst was the day after mm-hmm. body body was Totally Shut down. crap. Yeah. yeah, you felt you want to puke, but you couldn't. You uh, wanted to sleep, but uh, you couldn't. You just. Lie. I would so, think also like um, like caloric expenditure was crazy, right? Yeah, it's like 18, 19 hours with high heart rate. Yeah, and 
Of course, with my, th that time I think I was 112, 140 kg. So <laughs> usually time. most people do it is like 50, 60, maybe 70. Yeah. So, I, but that was just guys. one of the personal challenges I wanted yeah. to do to test my head and body. <laughs> so you have also a big challenge in big big guy from yeah, uh, Oceania, yeah, yeah, from yeah, New yeah. Zealand in uh, Matavai Orenyi. Yeah. yeah. Um, you have pulled multiple times with yeah, him, right? Yeah, we have. You we have, have also been at his gym, right? In yeah, New Zealand. yeah, yeah. I was visiting him back home. And, uh, but uh, he has never beaten you in no, competition? No, no, not before. But it's, <laughs> it's a new time now. Before I was, or I think we was about the same weight. Yeah. Probably. Uh, I was much bigger and he was a little bit smaller than now. No, I'm smaller and he, he's bigger. So um, mm. I don't know what will happen when we meet now. I don't think he knows either. So. Uh, yeah, you're famous for your press. You are one of the very rare guys in arm wrestling who has been very successful with the press, right? Uh, there's a lot of guys that can do it in you know some matches, but you do it almost all the time. Yeah, I, t I think a lot of people can do it, but do it right from the start. Yeah, it's the yeah difficult thing. Yeah. So is this the game plan, or we might see something uh, more rolly? <laughs> Actually, I, I never trained very much press. I did yeah. like before I did like heavy close grip punch and very heavy triceps yeah. extension, everything to keep tight and yeah. stiff hair. But now when I did all run training, I, I've been on table for actually my neighbors, uh, Heimdall brothers, okay. yeah. the Norwegian champion yeah. in 1985. Yeah. So yeah. luckily they, they wanted to try train all the time. So stay on the ta table to keep in condition, but I, I don't go <laughs> pressing yeah. them. So yeah. I I, a lot of guys, especially I know that who are pressers, they don't really press in a practice. Like in a, in, if when you lose, right? Yeah, but you practice other moves. But yeah. In competition, it just yeah, and it, it's very hard to practice. Where you almost need to get some someone to start you because if not, if if I go, it's too easy to me. Or if they go first, it's yeah too much uh, too much yeah yeah, yeah, taken yeah. Away. So. Um, no, uh, we see what happens when we <laughs> grip up, and uh, but yeah. I think things get hard. Or my, my brain go back to the old <laughs> formula. <laughs> I, I, I really want to see, and I feel like that's the scenario of the match. Matevei tries to top roll, you get in a press, and uh, we'll see where the balance lies. Yeah, right? I, I feel like that's the that is how it's going to work out. Uh, without this match, there's a lot of. Excellent matches on the card, but uh, the return of John Brzenk, Voivoda, you saw both of them today. Yeah. Maybe uh, your thoughts changed when you saw them in person, both of those guys? It's hard to say. It's huh. so hard. You, uh, I actually, I don't know what will happen. They, I think they both looked great now. Yeah. John looked massive and Voivoda looked John athletic. Looked big. And, yeah. John looks very yeah, big. Yeah, People yeah. don't, don't recognize just. John looked, I, I saw him like a month ago, I'm like, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's something else to see him live. Yeah. When you see picture, uh, everybody tells, yeah, but he doesn't look that big, but as we as arm wrestlers, when we see him, wrist and hands, everything yes. is like yes. thick and massive. Yeah. Th and those things that matter in arm yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know what will yeah. happen. I'm very excited for that match. <laughs> it's like every, every arm wrestler here, just that, like everyone would pull on this card just to be part of this card. Yeah. Like, right? Yeah. Doesn't matter. Like, like, oh, I don't know. C could you beat Levin? I don't know. But John and what, what are pulling? I'm pulling Levin. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Uh, some of the guys, I don't know how, uh, yeah, Lachlan Adair versus Krasimir Kostadino, right? Lachlan looks strong. He's yeah. getting better all the time, but Krasimir, I saw him a lot of, lot of times back in the days when I was competing, and he, he have been, he's so experienced, and he have done a lot of crazy, good yeah. matches. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I hope for a hooker, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it will be. Yeah. Yeah, think. Everyone's here on the same page. Yeah, uh, I think the day is going to be awesome. Um, the, say something to all the fans in Norway. I know a lot of people in Norway are supporting you for this match. They're very happy to be represented here on this stage. I think first Norwegian athlete for East versus West and also for King of the Table, right? Yeah. So, Yeah, I'm very happy for everybody who will buy the pay-per-view and watch us and support the sport and 
support me, of course. Say something in Norwegian to that. <laughs> <laughs> Tusen takk til alle som kommer til å se kampen og som støtter oss og sporten og støtter meg. Pretty much this strong love armistling. Uh, King of Table 8, September 23, live on Pepper View. Link is in the description. Thank you, buddy. That was awesome.